turn around look at what you see hey internet it's jessica and welcome to another channel update so uh i'm gonna do a rundown of like the normal updates i'm gonna do and talk about something else at the end of it so if you want to timestamp for all of that stuff i'll leave it in the description but uh, as for youtube new let's plays that i plan on bringing to the channel they're more gonna be at the end of august because a lot of them are coming out on like the 20th like that week and uh which include life is strange 2 episode 4 uh control which is made by remedy entertainment you guys may have known i played uh, alan wake and quantum break also max Payne. um they're the creators of those games so that's their new game control and uh manami dawn which is the one i'm looking forward to the most um that is a uh, super massive game so the ones who made until dawn and uh, if you're ready for me to get spooked and stuff like that uh you can definitely check out my let's play i'm gonna do probably two let's plays of it one on live stream and one on this channel so my second playthrough of madame dawn will be on twitch most likely with christy husbando goddess and um yeah we're gonna have a different playthrough so we can see like different choices and stuff like that because i know she's also gonna play that game with another friend to see what kind of choices they'll get so it should be interesting and uh the last one which is gonna be blair witch and i have decided that i'm not gonna do a let's play in the format of videos i'm actually gonna do a let's play in a format of live streams so if you want to join me i will be live streaming it here on youtube when it comes out uh just because I, I feel more comfortable live streaming horror games so that i don't feel like i'm alone or anything like that <laughs> Uh, so yeah, those are the new games that I'm planning to bring on the channel. As for, like, other stuff, Persona 5, that's just something I'm gonna play in between new games along with Batman series. Uh, right now, I'm still playing, uh, Asylum. I'm gonna get to all of them eventually, but I'm not, like, in a hurry to, like, finish all of them, if you know what I mean. And the last one is Yakuza. The Yakuza series I'm gonna start very soon. I just don't want to start too many things. Because th there's a lot of new games coming out. I don't want to start it all together. So Yakuza may be next month. I'm probably going to say. I'll probably start Yakuza 0 next month. As for uh, live streaming, I live stream on Twitch. That is twitch.tv slash a girl in a game. I live stream ri right now. I might change my schedule, but my schedule at the moment is Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays at 4 p.m. Eastern time. I was thinking of doing morning streams, like earlier streams. I was thinking about doing that. So if anyone has like an ideal time you prefer me to stream during the day like before 3 p.m or something like that eastern time please let me know in the comments what you think because i, I want to experiment if uh you know live streaming earlier may be better because it, it's kind of tiring for me because i record in the morning and then live stream in the at, at, in the afternoon but that's when like i'm not home alone anymore so it's kind of like stress inducing for me so i figured maybe i should just like live stream earlier and maybe it will work out better for me i don't know currently on twitch i am uh live streaming with christy every week we're still finishing up resident evil 6 uh we're still doing chris's campaign right now so if you want to watch us live you can go ahead or just wait uh because i do upload the resident evil streams on youtube so you can pick which you either one you want and uh, as for youtube live streaming i'm live streaming on saturdays at 3 p.m eastern time with uh alice madness returns that's the current let's play i'm going with some people were asking me about bloodlines i'm still playing that it's just something i don't want to play every single stream it's kind of like just something to throw in there so randomly i'll play it i don't really have like a set schedule for that one but alice is one game that i actually want to finish on stream just kind of like what i did with bullies so that's what i'm going to do with this one and um you can just look for the event it will show up in your subscription feed it should at least but if not i highly recommend you follow me on twitter that's where i mainly post my stuff so if you're not following me on twitter it's a girl in a game please follow me on there because it seems like a lot of people are not getting notifications for stuff because i get that in the comments a lot and i can't do anything to fix it like if you hit that bell thank you so much and if you hit the settings to always i appreciate it but youtube system is very faulty because it doesn't work all the time and at least if you're following on twitter or any other so even like instagram or whatever i have that too you can check the description for all my social media accounts but i try my best to post on all of them every day when i'm like live streaming or something like that um so you know you can use that too as for patrons i want to give a special thank you to all of them including light and color lab and also to my youtube member including william thank you guys so much for supporting me every month i really do appreciate it I did make some changes to it. Again, I feel like I'm tweaking Patreon and YouTube members a lot, but I, again, I'm trying to make it 
reasonable and, you know, realistic for me so that I'm not stressing myself out. But as for Patreons, I have added a new reward to the $1 tier. So if you donate $1 a month, I added 10% uh, off my merch store along with a shout out to new Let's Play. So if I start a new Let's Play, I will pick a name at random who has under the Patreon tier. Like if you just donate a dollar, I'll pick a random name, shout out your name at the beginning of the first video of the first Let's Play, that's what I want to do for, for now, because I feel like I, I'm ignoring the lower tiers and that's not that's not what I want to do, so um, I'm going to give the, uh, that a bonus uh, thing. So if you're a higher tier, if you do donate like $3 or $5 or whatever, you'll still get that too because you're included in that, but I just wanted to give something extra to the lower tiers, I don't want to feel like you guys are being ignored or anything like that. And um, I might start doing private live streams as in like rabbit stream so if you want to like watch videos with me we can do like movie nights every month or something like that i still need to test it out but that's something that i wanted to try um with my patreon so we can do something a little extra and something nice you know and as for my youtube members it's still the same on the long lines the same kind of rewards i didn't really change anything but i did add tiers to the YouTube members because YouTube has released that tier version so uh, we have lower tiers which is like 99 cents and then like 2.99 and 4.99 those are like the the ranges so if you prefer YouTube over Patreon that's another option uh, basically I'm doing like the same rewards there's not much of a difference but um, yeah you have your choice if you want to do that but uh, the bonus with YouTube membership is you get emot emotes and like uh, badges like uh, membership badges when I live stream so it will show up in your name and you can use like my special emotes that I have um, in chat that's the, the bonus stuff that you get on uh, YouTube so uh, this is going to be real talk from now on. Uh, I might ramble on a lot. I might not make any sense and I'm going to try to be honest in this video. I, I don't, I don't, I, I recorded this four times if <laughs> during the week because I wasn't sure if I was going to upload it or not. I didn't want to make it like a big deal, but it's been bothering me on more and more people are starting to notice because I didn't realize it's actually showing in my videos which is not a good thing. I didn't want that to show up, but um, a lot of people have been asking if I'm okay. I've noticed that in my live streams every week, people were always saying, hey Jess, are you okay? You look like, you know, you're tired. Or you, you don't look like you're well, like, are you okay? And I know they're not insulting me because <laughs> uh, um, it's out of genuine concern, so thank you. Um, but if I'm gonna be honest, no, I am not okay right now. I am tired and I'm kind of burnt out again. Seems like this is happening a lot this year. So the reason why I am tired is because I have been working every single day from 9 or 10 a.m. till 1 o'clock in the morning and then I go to bed around 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't really have any days off. I was originally trying to make sure every Sunday I would have a day off at least, but I haven't had a day off in a while. I think in a month. Especially last month, I didn't really um, take any days off. So I was always working until 1 o'clock in the morning and going to bed at 2, which was really bad and made me really tired. I'm still tired even right now. But um, I just kept push pushing through it because I, I, I have to work. Like, <laughs> that, that's kind of what I was saying. And it, it's ironic because I, I said to myself during the new year, like in January, I'm not going to overwork myself like I did last year or, you know, put so much pressure on me because I am, I don't, I don't like saying this, I'm not, I don't know how to explain this. I don't like saying it publicly. It's kind of weird. Like I encourage people to talk about, you know, their, their mental health. It's, it's important to like, you know, normalize it. And I try to do that with, you know, the community that I have. It's just hard for me to talk about myself because I don't want to seem like I don't want to seem like it's not like, oh, I, I have to overshare, but it's more like I don't want to give my problems on to you guys because you guys come onto YouTube, you know, to be entertained, forget about all your problems or whatever, so hearing about my problems probably won't help you. Um, but I have mentioned um, what I go through uh, a long time ago on YouTube. I, I have bad anxiety and also depression as well. It's not a secret. I've talked about it in videos and, you know, live streams before, but... Um, Last year was, actually not just last year, like maybe the last three years was really bad for me, but it was especially, especially bad the last two years, I would say, um, to the point where 
I don't know if I even should say this yet because I'm not comfortable talking about it. But I'll, I'll just say it was really bad. Um, and once I saw my doctor, you know, I, it, I was told to like take it easy this year to try to, you know, combat like what was going on with me um, the last two years. So I, I, I was like, okay, and you know what, I, I have been doing better, work aside, like I have been doing better, I'm a lot happier now, and I'm, I am have better control over, you know, my, my emotions and, you know, my um, mental illnesses and whatever, so I'm coping a lot healthier, let's just say that, um, which is really good, but I'm still not, still not, like, recovered from, like, what happened, so... And one of those ways to recover is to not, like, work so much. But I'm, I'm a workaholic. That's who I am. I've always been a workaholic. Even when I was, like, in elementary school or high school or whatever, I was such a nerd. I was always like, I gotta do my work. Um, <laughs> that was just me. Maybe it's just the Asian me. I don't know. But, like, I, I always worked hard, even though I didn't really have to. But that was just the mentality I had growing up. And then um, when I got to college, I took animation. And that kind of workforce is like you always have to be working like even our professor was just like you can't have relationships can't go out and whatever you have to work every single time and again it stuck with me that I have to work and uh, even I was I'm so used to like working until one o'clock in the morning like this is not new to me like I'm, I'm very used to it when I was an animator so it's it's very you know relatable doing YouTube I'm still working until like one o'clock two o'clock in the morning it's not that foreign to me it just sucks because, like, I, I, st I realize that I haven't really let go of that mentality just yet. Even though I keep saying, like, I need to take a break. I still don't do it. And even when I do take a break, I feel guilty for not working because I'm like, I should be working. Like, I can get some stuff done. Like, I can get it done and get ahead of it. And I realize, like, now is probably not a good time because now people are noticing I'm not okay. Even people in my personal life, even my husband was just like, you're not okay. Like, you seem like you're stressed out and I am because I'm working and I'm uploading twice a day and I don't think I can do double uploads anymore. I, w I was going back and forth on this because the reason why I did double uploads is because I, I wanted, I did want to get more content out there because I've been doing a lot of like Let's Plays and I'm like, these, these are taking a while if I'm being honest because I want to get to like other stuff, but I didn't want to stop it because I've been doing that a lot too, stopping random Let's Plays, like I can't finish it, I just stop in the middle of it. I don't like doing that either. But I've been doing that more often, and I'm trying to avoid it by, hey, do double uploads. And a lot of you liked it, because you got more content from me, which is, uh, you know, great. But I don't think I should do that anymore. Um, it's, it's very taxating, exhausting, and uh, it's making me hate making videos. That's, uh, that's the other thing. I, I was... I've started, I'm actually starting to hate making videos and I think you can tell there's a difference like if you watch my recent video I just uploaded a Minecraft video yesterday and that and my reaction video to MTV's like reality show those two videos are the the most fun I've had in a really long time making I I don't know, I, if you can t clearly tell the difference, if you watch my Let's Play and then you watch those two videos, you can see how different it is for me. I, I really enjoyed making those two videos, but the problem is I can't make it my main content. Is, does that make any sense? Because um, it's not a secret my channel isn't like growing at a rate that it should for how big it is. I know I'm still a small channel, but like how big it is right now, it should be at a different pace. Like the amount of people who watch my videos or um, the engagement on them. And again, I'm not trying to blame anyone. It's just like from behind the scenes kind of thing. Um, it's kind of like not where it should be. It's, it, it is discouraging, I'm not gonna lie. And I think the main reason for that is just because of what my channel became in the beginning. I unfortunately got stuck in the genre of visual novels when I never wanted, I never wanted this channel to be visual novels or tomies, I didn't want that, but I just got stuck in it and I couldn't get out. It was horrible because it, every time I uploaded something different, no one would watch it. They just wanted me to play Seduce Me or whatever, or you know, whatever boys love visual novels out there. Whenever I did upload those kinds of videos, everyone would watch it. So I was just like, oh, I guess I gotta do more of this. 
Especially considering YouTube was promoting those videos. They still do that. Like, if you search up my name in the search engine, what is the first thing you see? It's usually Seduce Me or Cinderella Phenomenon or Chess of Blades, which are great games. I'm not, like, saying they're terrible or anything like that, but, like, that's what I'm known for. Most popular, you know, video on my channel right now, I think it's Seduce Me um, or uh, Mystic Messenger. Those are, like, the most popular videos on my channel. And, you know, for a time it was fun. I'm not gonna lie, I did have fun making those videos. Um, they did lead me to friendships that are very important to me right now, but it's just that I wish people would stop because <laughs> like people are still asking me, hey, can you play Seduce Me again? No, I don't know why I would do that. Or can you play this like Atoma game? When I specifically said I don't want to do it anymore, like this year I haven't really touched any visual novels and it's not because I don't like them, it's just I don't want to focus on that anymore. I want to try to do different stuff. And it's been hard because YouTube categorizes me as a visual novel channel. When YouTube categorizes you as something, you're basically you're like, screwed. Um, it's kind of like how the algorithm works. They pick you up, like what kind of genre you are. So if you try to make something else, they don't really promote it because it's like, oh, this is a different genre. You're not doing the same thing like the other stuff. And even like the little, um, we get analysis of like our videos, like how well it's doing in, um, if you're a YouTube, you know this, you can look at it, your, your YouTube dashboard, uh, it tells you what, how your videos are doing and whatever. And, um, every time when I was uploading visual novels and I uploaded something else that wasn't related to it, it there would be this little message that said, uh, it seems like most of your subscribers are not watching this video. And then the recommendation was try uploading something that your audience likes which is true you know i get it people are subscribed to me for certain content it's not like new or anything i'm not mad about that it just like it just shows to you like how youtube is treating creators they rather you know do trends or like what you're most popular for but like doing that over and over again really fucking killed me like it honestly burned me out really badly that's why I, I had to stop this year. I couldn't take it anymore because I was going crazy. I, I think you can notice like my drop off, like how enthusiastic I was when I started doing videos and then how it is now. You know what I mean? So that's why I had to stop doing visual novels. And then I started doing, you know, different games, which is great. But um, the Let's Play genre isn't like the same as it was before. I think Jacksepticeye talked about this in a video of his uh last week um saying how you know walkthroughs and let's plays how it is like before it's not the same how it is now like pe people don't i'm not saying that there isn't an audience right because it's still popular it still is um but like it wasn't it's not as big as it used to be people would rather have like bite sized kind of content now which is understandable or they would have has something really unique um which is why you don't see like a lot of gaming YouTubers do like the big ones do like full let's plays of a game. They don't really do that much. They kind of do like random one offs. And you know, I I, I do want to change that. Like I love doing let's plays too, because like yeah, I get to play a game and experience with you guys, discuss in the comments, which is great. I love that. The most recent one that I had a really good experience was, was uh, Judgment, and a lot of you guys are really excited for me to play that, and you guys talk to me in the comments. It was great. I really love that. Um, but it's not like that for every single Let's Play that I have done this year, especially, you know, it's not, it's not anyone's fault. I'm not trying to blame anyone, but that's how it is, and I understand that, and I feel like, I think I need to change that now. And seeing how everyone responded to, like, my reaction video to that uh, TV show and to Minecraft, it shows me, like, I think I need to change the content that I do, but I don't think my channel is ready to, like, do a 360 and be, like, only that kind of content, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, it's going to take a while for people to adjust to that or for the fact that YouTube will consider me as something else other than visual novels. I don't even know when that will end, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's always going to follow me, I guess, because it's built into the algorithm like it's too late i'm always going to be attached to i'm always going to be known as the freaking otome lady that's what it's going to happen honestly and i was you know it's fine it's part of like my my career i guess and whatever it's great but like i just want to do new things i'm a creative person i always have been i can't stand 
cannot stand doing the same thing. Like, I can't even stand eating the same thing every day, okay? You don't understand this. Like, uh, <laughs> I have this pet peeve ever since I was a kid. If, if my, my mom would make the same thing for me to eat every day, I would just tell her straight up, like, I don't want to eat this, can I please eat something else? <laughs> like, I'm like that. I can't do the same thing every day. And um, I need something new to stimulate myself and to be creative and to express that creativity. And I, I want to do different kinds of videos. I desperately want to make, like, I have so many ideas, like I've, I've written them down, but I just haven't filmed them yet because I don't know how to do it in terms of presenting it to you guys because a lot of you expect me to do Let's Plays or Seduce Me or something like that. So I don't know. I, I want to get to a point where I don't have to worry about it, but right now I do have to worry about it. So again, I try... <sighs> I mentioned this last time too, like there's something going on with me right now and I, I don't know if I should tell the public about this because again, it's my problem, not yours. And at the same time, I do feel like it's like TMI, you know what I mean? It's just like next year is a big deal for me. As in, there's a lot of stuff that's going to change in my life next year and I'm a little bit worried about, you know, changing my content. So I know a lot of you are going to come from a good place when you say in the comments, oh, don't worry, like, take a break, it's fine, or do what you want. I totally understand you guys are coming from a, you know, a good place, but fortunately, when you're a content creator on YouTube and you don't really have, like, a footing in the space, it's kind of hard to do whatever you want. So it's so easy for me to switch over, but it's it doesn't mean it's going to work, you know, and I'm an adult. I'm Fortunately, I I do have to pay bills and I do have to save money for stuff and doesn't help that I have so much going on next year. So I can't exactly just do whatever I want. I have to kind of stick with what I got right now. Does that make any sense? So that's kind of why I've been like really stressed out. I don't I want to take a break so bad, like, I want to go on vacation, like, I want to leave YouTube for, like, a month or two or something like that, go on hiatus, but I, I can't do it because I need, I need to generate income for myself and, um, for my future, too, so I can't really, like, leave or just switch my content like I, like I like, so I have to take the slow approach and, I don't know, I, I don't want to overwork myself either, that's something I'm trying not to do, but... Again, I can say it now, like, I'm probably gonna upload twice a day again later on. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't really know what I should do anymore. And I know some jackass in the comments gonna be like, get a real job. Oh, you should, shouldn't do this. But, honey, let me tell you, I've been doing this for a really long time. I have freelanced before, too. So, like, yeah, you can work from home. It's very possible, but it's sometimes it's difficult. And the way that YouTube is going about right now, demonetizing all my crap for no reason, it's not helping. But, you know, if it gets to the point where it is really bad, obviously I'm going to get, a, like, a part-time job or a different job. It's not not of a question. It's just, like, where I'm at right now, I would like to keep it that way. If you get what I mean, I would like to keep YouTube as my job. I don't want to lose it. Because I do, you know, as much as I hate it right now, I do like making videos and stuff like that and trying different stuff because uh, again like i said i'm a creative person so i like doing that kind of stuff um but yeah that's kind of what i wanted to talk about um sorry this video is very long probably you, most of you don't care <laughs> which is fine um but yeah it's just i don't know i'm i'm not okay right now let's just say that and i don't know what i'm gonna do regards to like my videos and stuff i just gotta change something very soon because this is driving me nuts and it's uh, I guess that's all I can talk about maybe I'll talk about it a little bit later on more details and stuff like that because my friends have been saying just you know tell them and whatever but at the same time I kind of don't want to because I don't want to don't want to burden anyone with it so that's kind of why I've been kind of like not myself but yeah, that's uh, all I wanted to say. Hopefully this time, this video, I will actually not delete and upload onto YouTube, but we'll see. Um, sorry about the long video, but thank you so much if you watched until now, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!